No, I love you more. No, no, you are. I, I love you more. Of course. Don't play this game. Don't. No, you're the most fantastic person on the planet. You are. Yes, you're the best. No, you. Okay, I. All right. I will. I will. You too. Uh, you're the best. You're better. You're better. You're better. All right. Hey, hey do you want to say hi to. Uh... Right. I love you too. Bye bye. Who was it? Who are you talking to, Ben? Um, Bill Collector. No, come on, Ben. Who obviously was that? Is that an old a girlfriend? Or... I uh, that was mom. Well, didn't she want to say uh, say hi to me or anything? No. How is she? She's well. Terrific. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? I'm okay. Good. I'm okay. I'm. I'm just. Uh... You know, it's funny. We were talking about maybe her uh, blowing through town here. Hello. What? I'm sorry, you were talking about her coming, coming... Well, she was actually, she was mentioning that she's going to be uh, traveling through this area, so I, of course I said mm -hmm. that uh, when she does, um, next week, she could stay here. Well, I'm sure she could, <clears throat> you can stay here in, 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 in town. Yeah, but I, I sort of said, more specifically, she could stay, uh, stay here in the house when she comes. Well, <clears throat> you know, that's, that may not be the best arrangement for everybody, because... We, well, Dad, it's, it's the only thing I could say. I mean, I was, uh, you know, I mean, it's... No, I, I know, but but I, I think that, you know, it's because the Holiday Inn right down the block has a... Uh, yeah, Dad, but the point is, is that, you know, She it could was... have um, room service and there's a there's a hated pool. And a I'm what? Sure she, I'm sure it's a hated pool. You, you said hated pool. Hated, not heated. No, you heard hated. No, I heard... No, I, I know what I said, Ben. I said they have a heated pool. I've, I've stayed there. No, that's a slip. You you made a slip, but you said hated because we were talking about mom. Say hated pool. Hated pool. I say heated pool. Heated pool. Well, if I said hated pool, it was a slip, but it wasn't a Freudian slip. Well, I mean, I... it was a Jungian slip. But um... she's just coming to visit, so I mean, it's not like a big deal. She'll stay for a week or two, or yeah. I'm not sure I'm, I'm I'm comfortable with the with the idea of her, her staying in my house. Well, Dad, you know very well that mom. What do you mean, your house? I said I'm not sure I'm comfortable with her staying in our house. Yeah, but you said my house. You said hated pool, and then you ben, said my house. Ben, you hear what you want to hear. What did you just say? You are what you eat. All right, it's a full kitchen, two bedrooms, living room, dinette, a uh, walk-in closet in each bedroom, and one full bathroom with shower, tub, and a uh, linen closet. Okay, uh, hold on. Dr. Katz's office? That's right. It's still available. Please hold. Ralph, sorry. Could you hold on a second? Laura? Yeah? I... I can't get an outside line. What's going on? Uh, all, all well, I have a lot of people on hold. Well, did, did some of them want to talk to me? Well, no, it's because I placed my ad about my apartment. Oh, right. Yeah. You told me. So but I have why a lot of people you, why, would you, why would you give your work number? This is what well, I Because understand. this is where I am all day. Yeah, but isn't that something you should really do on your time? Do you see I, what I'm saying? Because My well, time? Well, because uh, now... Technically, you're working for me, taking my calls on my on my phone lines that I pay for. So it's your time. Well, shouldn't shouldn't you shouldn't you be getting those calls at your home? I don't want all those people knowing my home number. And well, first, first let, me, let me ask you this: Would you characterize their marriage as a good marriage? Do you think that it was a happy marriage? Well, they never really would fight. My parents, um, everything was always very under the surface. Mm -hmm. The only way I could tell my mother was angry at my father was at meals. She'd serve him bread with a frozen stick of butter and watch him struggle. That's subtle. Mm. Is it a partnership, your marriage? I mean, does he, does he pitch in around the house? Does he help out? My husband suffers from um, refrigerator blindness. Right, right. He can't see anything in a refrigerator. He'll stare in it for hours. Right, I, I had that. He won't move anything in the refrigerator. If he doesn't see it, it isn't there. He'll say, where's the tuna fish? I'll say, it's behind the milk. 
Move the milk, he'll say. I don't want to move the milk. Because for some reason, if he moves the milk and the tuna fish isn't there, yeah. the milk won. Mm. the uh, the finances in your family well my husband does the checkbook um i i knew nothing about money my parents didn't teach me anything when i used to sign my checks love rita mm. my first credit card bill i got was so big before i opened it i actually heard a drum roll that's a big bill hey laura hi hey how are you fine how are you good i uh i stopped by yeah, I, I, could, I just came by, and uh, well, actually, I'm gonna. I got some news for my dad, and uh, it's pretty big. It's, I mean, it's fairly big news. Mm-hmm. So that was hoping he was free because uh, he's gonna want to hear this one. It's a bomb, quite frankly. This is a explosive piece of news. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop the bomb on him. Neat. It's gonna be difficult to to tell him, you know, because of the nature of the news. But uh, it's a. Uh, it's... Hero, why don't you take a this pen and a piece of paper and? Well, I think it's, it's better. Write heard... down what you have to say, and uh -huh. I'll give it to your dad because uh, he's busy right now, and I don't think that. Yeah, I mean, you will, uh, I'd rather see him. Oops, face... gotta get the phone. Sure. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Doctor Katz's office. Speaking. Right, okay, it's, yeah, it's a full kitchen, two bedrooms, living room, dinette, a uh, walk-in closet in each bedroom. That's right, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, sure, that that sounds good. Um, can I get index cards, because I'm gonna... Shh, I'm sorry. I just um, wanna... uh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. I'm not gonna I, write I, it I, out. It sounds... Could you I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna hit the bullet points, and then I just but, needed index I'm cards. I'm sorry, Gary, could you hold on for a second? Could you shut up? Do you have a highlighter? Shut up! Okay. My husband has two beliefs in life. He believes in God, and he believes that when the gas gauge is on empty, he still has a quarter of a tank. He thinks the E stands for, eh, there's still some left. Well, in, f in fact, it stands for empty, right? Well, so, so let me ask you something. What, when, you, when you talk about friction, in your marriage, what what kinds of things cause friction? Do you he think? doesn't understand that I have to talk to my girlfriend on the phone every single day. He'll say, why do you have to talk to her again today? You just talked to her yesterday. What could you possibly have to tell her? Yeah. I say, for one thing, I have to tell her you just said that. Do you and, uh, and your husband talk about raising the stakes, starting a family? We did long for the pitter-patter of little feet, so we decided to buy a dog, cheaper, and get more feet. My husband's never had a dog before, and uh, I realize men teach dogs different tricks than women teach dogs. My husband came home, I said, look. I taught him to sit. I came home, my husband said, look. If you put him on the roof and light his tail, he jumps into the pool. So you, you think that maybe the dog is a... Uh... He's not a child substitute. <laughs> At least that's what his pediatrician says. <laughs> Uh-huh, on 27 acres. Uh-huh, good. Attached garage, that I like. Six bedrooms, sunken living room. Mm -hmm. Dining room, den, maid's quarters, okay. No, 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 money is not a, an issue. No, sorry, I, I, uh, the opposite. Uh-huh, yep, the opposite of that. Okay, opposite again. Okay, now you're on it. Good. Sean, let me ask you something. Um. The sunken living room, uh, could that be fixed, or...? I think it's going to work out. I mean, I think that... Yeah. Uh... But ben, if I find the right place, it's going to work out. I'm just afraid you're, you're, you're going about this, you know, you're putting the, the cart before the horse. That what you really need before you need an apartment is you need some kind of steady income. Something where you can say, this is what I bring in every week. This is what yeah. it's going to cost me to live in here. No. 
And no. so you can plan no. the life of a young adult. You no. know, that's what this is what you're No. I think that what you gotta do is you gotta be bold. You gotta make bold moves and then let the chips fall. Okay, look. I was seventeen years old. I couldn't stand living at home anymore. Here we go. And I moved into the first available place. Uh -huh. I, I come home two nights later, crabs. Really? Yeah, I had crabs from this mattress. You can't get crabs from a mattress, can you? If there's a hooker on it. <laughs> hey, there you go. Whoa, All wait right. a minute, please. Hello, Chico. <laughs> So it's not just the place, you think that, that people are different there. You know like your friends in California? They're like your friends. They kind of look like people, there's a telephone involved, they have an automobile, but they're not like your friends back in New York or Boston or Seattle or Atlanta or Texas. As a matter of fact, your friends in L.A. don't show up when they invite you somewhere. How do they make that work? Mm. In New York City, if you say to your friend, I'll meet you at the movie theater at 10 o'clock, it's not a suggestion of what could happen in the world that day. It's an actuality. It's like magic. Boing! You and your friend just appear at the movie theater at 10 o'clock because on the east coast of our country, if you're not there, you know, you're accountable. People are really upset. They're all like, Barry, what the f*** is going on? I'm standing outside the theater for two f***ing hours with my b*** in my head. I'm thinking, what did you die? Do I go in? Do I go out? Do I buy a ticket? Do I give it to the usher? Do I look for you in the back? Do I look if you're coming out of the subway? Do I beep you or call your voicemail? Your other eight numbers? Like you're some sort of doctor drug dealer? What the hell is going on? You okay? And on the east coast of our country, you give what's called a reason. You make up what's called an explanation. And then you, and then you move on with your life, so it's no big deal. You know, I don't like to bleep my patients, Barry. <sighs> Ah, so you so you also have your you have your problems with the East Coast. Uh, you know, I lost my luggage at Kennedy Airport, the most unsympathetic place in the world. You go to the person behind the counter whose job it is to help you. I say, you know, I've lost my luggage, typical New York style. The person goes, Yeah, that's all I need now. You and your bags. What do you what do you want me to pick up the airport and shake it till your bags fling out? Who am I, Kreskin? What am I, Yuri Geller? Shirley MacLaine in the head? What am I, what am I, a magician, uh, David Copperballs? What? What is this, the Psychic Bags Balls Network? Did you know your bags went to San Jose? Hey. How do I, hey, excuse me. Just, no, no, excuse me, I think you're a little out of line. Hey, here's something. You know what your bags look like, and you can't find them. I don't know what they look like. Hey, Laura. Hi. Hi. I just pop back in. Great. Yeah, pop in, pop out. I like yeah. that second part. Yeah. Hey, how, how, how's the, uh, the stuff going with your place? Have you found... Yes. Anybody? You found somebody? Mm. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. That's good. I'm still looking uh, yeah. myself for, uh, for my own place. Sure. Yeah, my own little private spot. Uh, oh, me. Oh, me. Yeah, actually, I, I more, more, more stop by on the lines that I, I would... Uh, I'm going to make out some change of address forms. Right. You know, some announcements that uh, and I'm going to make that move... Uh-huh. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe, uh, you know, my father would probably be cool about you you typing them out for me. No. Well, if you have a second, you know, or a minute, you could type out. I, Wait I'll... a second. You're filling out change of address cards and you don't know where you're moving? You know, it sounds crazy when you say it. What was it like in your house? You're a kid, you're 10 years old, you're in Brooklyn, New York. Can you, can you sort of... Growing up in New York City was like... Uh, did you ever see any Neil Simon plays? Yeah. It was just like that. It was like a lot of yelling. It was always like, get out of here, get out of here, I'm not leaving. You're leaving, you're getting out. Don't tell me to get out. People are arguing. And everybody's Jewish. In Neil Simon's naughtiest new hit, The Exit. Get out of here! Get out of here! Excuse me, Mr. Screaming. Pardon me, Mr. Yelling. Time out, Mr. I'm not deaf. Now I am! That was the kind of upbringing I had. My dad, my dad has expressions like, ooh, look how they get you. Look how they get you. We go to a steak restaurant. You know, I think it's a good deal. You take mom and dad, $14, all you can eat. My dad's already suspicious. Ooh, look how they get you. Ooh, they get you. They give you the soup, the salad, the bread. Don't eat the, don't eat the bread. Don't eat the breadsticks. By the time the steak comes, you're too full. You can't eat it. That's how they get you. 
I go, wait, 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 you know, like any good New York kid, I'd be screaming at my dad in the restaurant. What do you mean that's how they get you, dad? Well, they get the steak to someone else after you've had a couple of bites. They want you to have just a bite or two of the steak. And the way they go, take it in the kitchen, they solder it back together. They sell it on the street. My dad goes, oh, what do I look like, the expert on steak? What am I, uh, Henry Worcestershire sauce? Well, what's in my pocket? A big cow chart. Let me put this up in case anyone else has any beef questions, any meat inquiries. Barry, I don't know, I don't know where the steak goes. All I know is how they get you. That's how they get you. You want to argue? At this hour? He would do this. At nighttime in New York City, there was nowhere you could go at this hour. He'd always be, oh, you're going to go out? Now? At this hour? Where do you go? A crazy place. A sick place. You're going to make a phone call now? You're going to use my phone? At this hour? Who do you call? You call crazy people. You call sick people. Hello? Hello? Come on over and kill me. So he, he was not a real source of wisdom in your life. He'd go, uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. He wouldn't do anything. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that limits you. I mean, he, Well, that actually, it frees you. Well, I don't know. Well, if you, if you don't do anything that he wouldn't do, and he wouldn't do anything, it means you could do everything? Or does it mean the opposite? I give up. Well, you're the doctor. Not enough air in here. So you used to, wait a second, you worked in real estate? I was Mr. Real Estate. When was this? It was in the um, uh, late 70s, well, early 80s. Yeah. Yes, I was, uh, I was at the top of my game, actually. You know the slogan, uh, location, location, location? Yes, I've, he I've heard that. I, I'm the one who coined that, actually. You're kidding me. No, my first, actually, my first uh, suggestion was location, 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 location. What do I even ask? You know, if you can... I can set him straight. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I'm just worried that people, the first guy he sees, he'll give him a deposit, and he'll never, the guy will disappear into the back of a van, and the guy... Why, know, why do you have so little faith in him? I, I guess from spending time with him. Yeah. Hi, Dad. How'd you, how'd you make out? You see anything you like? Tough day. Tough day, overall. Yeah. It's a little on the, uh, the pricey side now, nowadays. Well, it's, it's, you know, I'll tell you something. It, it, it's tough even for, for me to make ends meet, you know? Yeah. Uh, it took me years just to get them to uh, acknowledge each other's existence. The, the ends? Yeah. The meat. Just a little joke, Ben. Yeah, I know you it's, ain't kidding, uh, Dad. I, I'm just uh, I'm surprised uh, how difficult it is to find a... Find a place in my price range. And, and what, have you figured out what that is? Well, it started in the late teens, and then it uh, dropped into the preteens. You're looking for something in the preteens? Yeah, and then I was, uh, based on some of the, the, the numbers I was hearing, I was thinking about maybe uh, holding off until the market settles down. Maybe that's the right thing to do, you know? Sit, just sort of wait it out. Yeah, it's not me. I mean, I want to I go right ahead with it. You understand, but I think it's, it's more... Timing it right. Yeah, you got to. Well, real estate is timing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Or is that comedy? I think comedy is location. Hey, you know, I've also, I've been doing some thinking myself, Ben, you know, about, about your mother and the visit. Yeah. And that maybe we should let her know that she's really welcome to stay here, you know. Really? Yeah. I, I, uh, I think I, I acted too harshly and too quickly, and I didn't really try, try and see it from your point of view. That's nice, Dad. I, I mean, I'm... I appreciate you, you you saying that. I mean, if you really feel that way. No, absolutely. Otherwise, I mean, we can... No, as a matter of fact, why don't we give her a call right now and, and we'll, we'll... No, I mean, I'm not against having Mom not stay here. I've been doing a little thinking, too, and I'm thinking maybe it's best Mom doesn't doesn't stay here. Yeah, but I've been doing a little more thinking. Uh-huh. And what were you thinking? Yeah, I was anticipating your newest thoughts. Uh-huh. And I was thinking perhaps you shouldn't do any more thinking. Well, I'm, I'm actually thinking that uh, that I'll make the decision on this one and then... Uh, Ben, she's coming, and damn it, she's going to stay in my bed. Okay, let's call. So, so you're more adventurous these days. You feel like you're starting to experiment, take chances you didn't used to take. Yes, I'm going to water ski someday. Oh, great. As soon as I can mentally separate it from being dragged by a boat. That's an important step. Well, you're obviously in terrific shape. Do you exercise every day? Yes. Do you try to watch what you eat? I buy anything that says low fat. Mm -hmm. But they're not 
real specific. They never say lower than what? Lower than a great big old cup of fat? Right. <laughs> You know, one of the, I had a lot of jobs. One of the first jobs in entertainment I had was uh, in the 70s. I used to be a roadie for the village people. Hmm. Indian, pick up those feathers. There are 15 minutes to get on the bus. Come on, help me out, Mr. Indian construction guy, please. What? All the musical equipment's in Florida and we're in New York City? <sighs> Where am I going to get eight tambourines by 9 o'clock? Boots, 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 moccasins, boots, boots, boots. All right, everyone on the bus. Come on, let's go. Let me ask you, why, why is it that you dress like someone half your age? <laughs> Ouch. That's cold. That's ice world. I, I mean, what, is, there a, is there an age limit to this jacket? Well, it varies from state to state, but let me check the label. Again, you know, you give me the business. I come in here, I pay you, and still you give me the business. You, I want, these, what, these are my clothes. This is, this is what I wear. Let, let's hmm. say, let's... How's your Dr. Katz? No! No! <laughs> You know what you are, Barry, today? You're a big silly head. Nah, how's your Dr. Cat? Nah. See? Oops, you know what the music means. 